Welcome back to Grey Squadron Gaming, where we have another exciting episode of your Star Wars Legion Battle Report series. Episode 105, it ain't no jive. It's very jive. We're here with a couple new lists to try out. I'm going to be running a Patreon list because I've got some Patreon lists to work through, so I thought I'd help with that. Don's going to be cracking out some new units that were spoiled on the mini extravaganza. Well, you guys know it's not Genosis because we showed that last week. And you know it's not the Battle Force because we showed that a week before that. Whatever could it be? Has to be the Inquisitors. Could it be the Inquisitors? We'll it find out. So big shout out first to our buddy Josh at J Squared for printing the files of the Inquisitor minis we'll show you in a second. And big shout out to Don for painting them in like 10 minutes. Yeah. And a huge thanks to Black Remnant who is who I got the mini files from. He actually sent them to us for the channel. So if you like the minis, please check out his stuff. We'll link it in the description below. Perfect. Okay, let's get to my list. This is Leia Organa with Vigilance. Sabine Ren with Situation Awareness, Prepared Supply, Personal Combat Shield, and the Darksaber. Mando Resistance with Situational Awareness, Jetpack Rocket, Earth's Interesting, because you have to, right? Uh, Rebel Pathfinders with the Config, Biston, and Duck and Cover. One unit of Strike Team Commandos with the Sniper. One unit of Rebel Troopers with a Medical Bot, or Medical Droid. Uh, veterans with the Heavy. A Mark II Minion Blaster with nothing. Two ATRKs. Both have Emergency Transponders. One has the Laser Cannon, and one has the Rotary Blaster. Bringing me up to... Um, 795 i believe it was um, but i'll double check and this is this is from so this one is from our friend double checking so I hope OG, this wrong. Uh, jacob bleacher jacob so this is your list buddy let's see if i can do it somewhat proud i'm a little nervous with the competition across the table but we're gonna try it but as you guys know commander patrons one of the many perks they get is they get to put a a list that they build and we'll play exactly how they built it into a pool of lists, which we when we play lists, we randomly pick out of because there's a lot of you guys. So thank you guys for subbing and going to the patrons. We appreciate that. But I'd be missing a shout out to all of our commander patrons. A huge thanks to our commanders, Dan Dubeck, Jamal Alwahadi, Mitchum Ernst, Alex Bingham, Caleb Rogers, Anthony Minerva, Steve Sneed, Paul Jorgensen, Just David, Archon Dan, Howard Robinson, Michael Hume, Jason Tatro, Evan Christensen, Kevin, Kazran, Galactic Terrorist, Thomas Trotman, James Wood, Sam Page, Andre Moskov, Kev Powell, Gregory Williams, Eli, Arthur, and Walden K. Wood, Cam Nickel, Anthony Bunomo, Chris Kempf, Flobit, Yan Alexander Hansen, Anthony Hosking, Ethan McKinney, Jabra75, Jacob Bleacher, and Ray and Peyton Archer. If you guys are a Commander Patreon and you don't hear me say your name, we do film these several weeks in advance, so like we just got this brand new Patreons, Ray and Peyton Archer. So we're this is your first shout out, but you'll see two videos early because of the way that this works. But we will not forget you. And if we do forget you, please send me a message somewhere and say, hey, you forgot me. And I will make sure to rectify the situation. Yeah, that's all I'm done. That's his part. So if you forgot, yell at Don. Um, but if you haven't sent us a list, make sure you do that. We take a Legion list, of course, because we play that primarily. But if you want to submit a SharePoint list, we will do those too, and you will probably get pushed to the front of the box. To my knowledge, there's none. none. Yeah, <laughs> so you get you get jumped up there. We have everything for SharePoint, so any list you want would work with us. Um, yeah, so I'm at 800 points. I think this was 800. Yep. Yeah. So let's go see what we have across the aisle. All right, and as you can see, I have Vader and some Inquisitors up there. Uh, I do have an Imperial le officer leading it all off. Hang on, hang on. Stop the presses before you go through this. One of our awesome guys. Um, I don't know if he wants to be named uh, on the channel or not, so I won't name him, but um, one of our lovely guys in Discord wanted a Salt King to be represented a little bit better. Oh, Right? Okay. So he bought a file, made a file, printed it, sent it to one of our painter, our painter guy, who then painted him up, and now you have, let me see if I can get him in focus here. You have this, uh, let's see, great Salt King mini. So this is Don in a hoodie with his salt <laughs> crown. So whenever he's getting I angry, get you may see this sub out for her or something. You know, we'll, okay. we'll put it in here somehow, but that's his Salt King Mini. We don't know if it's going to come out in this game. We'll see. But anyway, sure continue, continue to listen. Anyway, Imperial Officer leading it off, and then I have Vader with Force Push, Tenacity, Enter the Fray, and Burst of Speed. I have Fifth Brother with Inquisitor's Training, Into the Fray, and Force Push. Seven Sister with Inquisitor's Training, Force Reflexes, and Into the Fray. I have a unit of the Imperial Royal Guards with the Electro Staff Guard, Protection and Protector, and Tenacity. And then three Stormtroopers with the FX-9 Medical Droids. I just put in a bunch of droids because I only have one FX-9 Medical Droid model. So if you see a droid other than the one that's attached to the Seventh Sister, that's a heal bot. Uh, I came in at 793. We'll go take a look at my cards because I'm going to be blue player. Always let's talk about giveaways here on the channel. If you guys watch us long enough, you know we're always giving stuff away. We got four Alt Arts. Um, these guys are in play today. That's about it of these four. But they're awesome looking. They have, you know, your usual 
information on the back. They look great. One winner for each of these, of course. A couple more bags of these awesome mirrored acrylic tokens from Curled Paw. So if you have Curled Paw or you don't, and you want some mirrored versions of that, right here, I'm gonna throw those away too. Comment below to get entered in to win. Those, those are for anyone, no matter where you are, or if you're a Patreon or not, you get entered in. Patreons get bonus entries, but everyone gets entered in. This next one is still going on for just a wee bit longer. I was gonna say, this might, might be- Might be the last one. Yeah, we're, we'll filming, to, we're filming ahead. See how math works on that. Um, but this is the Legion Strike Me Down Battle Pack, the convention exclusive. It is from Gen Con, I grabbed it. I bought it for you guys. So if you'd like to enter it, you either have to do one thing. If you're a Patreon, you're already entered. And you were entered in from when it first started last month till now. So if you were in for both months, Patreon, you get double entries. Um, Otherwise, you can donate down below to the tip jar. Every $3 is one entry, so 369 gets you three entries, for example. Um, either or, and if you don't want to donate and you don't want to be a Patreon because you can't, that's fine too. Just comment below for these awesome cards and tokens. Please hit the like, the subscribe. Those are the free things that really help keep our channel growing and keep us making videos for you. It's so true. These are Don's cards because he out uh, bids me in that area. And we've got a couple things to do. We're going to play America's Favorite Game Show. Flipper Pass. Someone requested a theme song and they want me to have me write it and you sing it. So oh, I know. I'm gonna. I told you he would say no, but I'll work on it and we'll have him <laughs> sing the jingle next week. Sure, sure. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the classic pass. Ooh, a solid, solid pass. Um, I'm not feeling this one too much. No. No, there's I one. Almost love War Witch. It's not so much that one. It's the maybe the next one I don't really like too much. Yeah, I know. I, I was really hoping you were gonna let me have. No, that would be super you, helpful. You have three sabers. No, would be very helpful to have that. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of the sabotaged moisture evaporators. Okay, so we got hostage. Ooh, hostage though. It's another good one. But limited, I feel like might help you more than hostage does. I do have two force pushers. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate to say the least. Otherwise, it's intercept. Ooh, boys and girls, I don't know what to do here. Um, I'm going to take a second to think on this one, Don. Okay. It's been a while since we didn't, we didn't pre-do this. I'm going to think. After much debate here in the Great Squadron Gaming basement, a.k.a. my basement, um, I think I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to flip this one because I think Limited and, and Intercept, with three Saber users, he could even take one to each or two to one, and I can't shoot him on the approach. doesn't sound good. So then I'll take this. We'll see if we can grab a hostage and just run and make him come to me better. That's the plan. Let's go check it out. Before I go over there, though, I'd be amiss not to mention our good friends over at Gifted Games. I haven't mentioned them in a couple weeks. Gifted Games give us all the really big giveaways. They gave away Battle yeah, Force boxes. boxes. We've given away lots of Grogu's. We've given speeder trucks. speeder trucks, lats. We've given away, you name it. We've given away uh, things from, like, the Dianoga events and yeah. stuff. We've given away lots <laughs> of things. So check out the Gifted Games. They're linked below. They have everything you imagine a game store would have. They have a discount code below that you can use to get a discount. They ship everywhere. If you don't see your country, just message them and they'll ship to you. With that said, thank you guys for supporting them. Thank you so much for supporting us. Let's go play game. That is something new you see on the screen. In fact, if you've watched it enough, you might have seen this exact map before. Because Mike McFarland brought this map a while ago. Thanks, Mike, for reading it. Good news is... We now have our own. Yeah. Legion Train sent us a copy of their, um, I forget the official name. I call it the Sith Temple. It's not really a Sith Temple, it's but a great Dark place. Dark Temple, maybe. Something. Um, but it's got some great pieces. I also threw in one of their Crash Tie fighters. fighters, which looks amazing. This large the piece. color matches. Is, it does. It's a great centerpiece. You've got lots of barricades and statues and crystals, and we got this nice little, you know, the, the temple itself. So... Should have it long ways. So yeah, so check them out, Legion Train. Awesome discount below. This map is really, really, really amazing. I love it, and it matches so well with this gray, gray matter gaming mat here. It just, it just works. It really is the best color. Isn't this it? It's is my just, favorite. This is my favorite gray matter mat. It is. It's amazing. Remember, gray matter mat. If you have a gray matter gaming. If you haven't seen them, they give you a free canvas carry case with it, which I've showed off many times on the channel. We would just come below, check them out. They have lots of options, but this one's probably one of our favorite mats they have. Lastly, before I get too far, you guys know J-Squared. You get to have all your little templates. All these things pop right out. You get a couple free silhouettes when you order it. Magnets to the top and the bottom. That's and not going to be happening at that time anymore. We may have it still going. Oh, okay. This may be around by the time this video goes. And if it is, it's going to be gone for like eight, like within a week of this video hitting. It's, we're going to keep it for the duration of the Ahsoka show. Ahsoka show ended. And uh, probably going to keep it a week or two past that. So we'll see. Uh, but it has this cool iridescent kind of translucent not translucent kind of transfigure color color thing. shift bro. color shift 
Um, yeah, very cool. These are SharePoint holders, but we make them for everything. You can the Legion, SharePoint, etc. This is the normal Legion curled paw, which curled paws no longer sponsors, as I mentioned earlier. There's a code for them as well. Check them all out. With that, let's get to the game. So as you can see, hostage exchange, there's his, there's mine. Most of my forces are here. He scouted there. They infiltrated here because his whole army's right there. And all the red lightsabers are over there. Don't worry about those lightsabers. Hiding. And I also have a random ATR-2 with a laser cannon over there. And the rotary blaster's there that way. I'm just going to kind of, you know, a little pincer maneuver here. You know, try to squeeze them out. Mm -hmm. I got I got no sabers. I have a dark saber. It's round one, so you know me, guys. I have like a cranium bombardment. And then every turn, she gets to shoot three times with that weapon right there. It's a great card. It's great for wiping out strike teams. Don's favorite. Yep. Unfortunately, you have no strike teams No strike teams today. He's got the new one here. It's a printed version. It's not super clear, but you guys get the gist. It said, you would question me. It's permanent for fifth and sixth, or fifth brother and seventh sister. When fifth brother gains an aim token, seventh sister gains a dodge. When fifth brother gains a dodge, seventh sister gains an aim. When either unit gains an aim or a dodge token, the other unit may give an immobilized token. If they gain, did, the gain sorry, I'm sorry, I meant gain. If they do, the first unit gains an additional token of the same type. So they're, they're working on that tandem. It's that Rebels episode, which it kind of on this kind of map. Yeah, yeah. If there was more Rebel characters out for this game, I would have fielded them all. There's no Ezra's yeah. yet, unfortunately. Or Kanan. No Kanan, no Ezra. Come on. Could have really? had, had Ahsoka, but we went with Patreon less than so Yeah, sad. I had an Ahsoka Luke list for a hot second. Anyways, let's get started with this game. It starts now. Well, one pit beats two, but last time I checked, and we got Leia out here ready with an order sword to keep her going. She's going to go ahead and... Unfortunately, I don't have my usual portable scanners on her, but she still has take cover two, so that's not bad. Two dodges is still better than three, or is better than none. Two dodges better than three. three. I was like, what are you talking about? I can't do math. We're going to give one to Sabine because that's what you do. Yep. I give the other one to the veterans because they may need to move on up there and do something Sounds with this. Sounds good. And then secondly, I'm going to take a quick look at the angles here. If I can see the three units I want to see, I'll shoot. If not, I'll move out slightly and then shoot. All right. Either way, we're shooting. Okay, I took my aim because I can see one Royal Guard and I only do two damage max. So I don't need to see any more than that. Sure. And both Stormtroopers. So we're going to start with the Royal Guard because they're the shot I want to do the most. I have Sharpshooter sure. too, so no cover. I surge to crit. Let's see what happens here. So, we got two hits coming through. Two for the Royal Guard. That's going to be two dead Royal Guard. Or one dead Royal Guard. Take that. Uh, it doesn't matter. Closest Stormtrooper to the Royal Guard. Sure. We're going to use the aim we saved up. Stormtroopers are fine. That's definitely what we want to see in that exchange. And then the aim's gone now. Last Stormtrooper. We've got two coming out of that Stormtrooper. Oof. Yeah, they're fine. Well, the only thing I don't want to see in my stack right now is Vader. Which you know we'll see. Surprise, surprise. His only operative left in the stack. Yeah. So we'll go with Vader. He is just going to take a dodge for his first action. He's just going to nudge up here for his second. Not not going anywhere, but I don't want him to... I guess I want to stick out with all these yeah. gun lines yeah, around. And... A lot of things that can shoot still. So we'll just dodge and move up, and that'll be him. Pull from the stack, we get... It's a special forces. So we got this nice little staircase here, which we always say you can move up just fine, yeah. so... And not move the Sith artifact, I mean the Dark Temple artifact here. We're going to come to the very edge of this as much as we can, like so. It's like he wants to shoot me or something. I'm going to reposition in a way where everyone can see at least one of their models. And we're going to shoot the purple Stormtroopers. All right. Okay, this is a range 3 attack. It's going to be 8 white dice, 2 each for the range 3 gun on the regular Pathfinders. And we are going to tap Distin, which adds another 4 whites in the black. Impact and iron won't matter here. I don't have an aim or anything. I do search to hit, and you're going to have light cover from the suppression. This is a lot of white dice. You could go either way, man. White dice, you know? It's not great, it's not great. but I, I've horrible. had I've had much worse. Yeah, so that was a crit, horrible. nothing that matters. So it's just gonna be four. So three after cover. We only missed on you know a bucket of ice. You got three still, deal. Two. Uh, so two go. Right, I'm gonna go to my sack. It's gonna be the first core. We'll go with the purple guys. They do have two suppression from getting shot twice now. They're gonna hold on to both of them, so they're only getting the one action. I'm gonna use the first heal on their heal bot to bring back our lovely. Oh my god, Bob's Brent. alive, guys! So he'll pop him back, and that'll put one heel off hey, of hey, that unit. Bro, what did you want to ask him again? He, he woke up. He was just sleeping. He just took a little nap. Just a little nap. Just a little nap. And then um, for their second action, I think we're just going to move him. Not second action. He got a free action. only action, action yes. First action. So we're going to move him back over here. We're going to hide behind some cover. Give him a, give him a little cover. Okay, that's respectable. I get and, it. Uh, They're scared. They lost half their unit in one yep. shot. I get it. Oh, yeah, I got ATR too. Let's go with the one that's going to take a few moves to get to where he needs to be to be able to be effective and stuff. So he's going to come this way, actually, because we can't go through that hostage unit. We can't, we can't do anything with him around the Nope, wall. nope, they are. So he's going to move this way. And then we're going to come up this way. Coming in hot. That way we're in a better position for next round. Sounds good. 
All right, gonna go to my stack here. It's our special forces, our Royal Guard. They are gonna hold on to their suppression, but they have two courage, so they're all right with it. They're gonna take a dodge for their first action, and I think we'll do just like a little move, a little, little re-cohesion, just to move them around so that they're a little harder to shoot from behind for the next guy. Okay. Grab a sack, we have another special forces. Didn't want to see another one yet, but that's not a terrible thing. So we're treating these barricades. We didn't talk about cover. We should take two seconds. These yes. barricades are going to be like normal barricades. barricades. All the barricades are really easy. Supplies. All the crystals are light cover. Yep. And then everything else is heavy to make it really easy. Yeah, not a lot of uh, things you can do to make a lot of light cover in here without adding a bunch more. But Yeah, so we, we splurred the crystals around, but yep. we got some good cover. Anyways, yeah. so this Mon Cal, which if you watched our Rebel giveaway video, there's a lot of Mon Cal's in that video. He's going to come up to here. Sure. Rico here is a little buddy back a little bit. And then All we're right. going to shoot the Royal Guards. Shooting at the Royal Guards. Heavy on the light, so we're looking for two hits or at least a crit on the black and the white. Surging to hit, sharpshooter one. No way. Just suppression. Just suppression. Right, we're going to go to the stack. It's going to be another core. We're going to go with the red guys here. They do have one suppression from Leia's shot. They're going to hold on to that one as well. We get one action, and I think we are just going to go ahead and take a pot shot and throw some dice into those uh, Pathfinders up there in heavy cover. Whoop, whoop, Pathfinders. All right, we got four white dice. We searched to head into heavy cover Pathfinders. You're going to get one suppression. Okay, with the duck and cover for the extra Man. Reasons. I like it. Through my stack, we've got a core. I think we're going to go with the hostage carry here. They have a... Uh, Full pivot. Full pivot. Right? Is that the yep. word I'm looking for? Mm -hmm. Full pivot. Um, and reposition and all that fun stuff. So they get to do it before or after. So yeah, I think what we'll do is I'm going to fully pivot 180. Sure. But I'm going to um, just for the sake, for the of, sake of filming. It's going to make it much easier. I just move it from the back and flip him when I lift him up. I think they can back up anyway, so it's the same distance. You're just yeah, pointing it, the gun a different way. That is also extremely true, my friend. So we'll come this way. But you won't be able to come. So you can't hang off terrain, but you can hang off the shadow of the terrain, if you will. The... Mm -hmm. So I'm hanging off that step and off the whole terrain. So that's a legal move, and that's going to be him. Sounds good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pass so we can go back to the Joe show. Yeah, Miss Wren herself. She would love to move into those stormtroopers. <laughs> And just start slicing and dicing. But I'm sure she would. Alas, she cannot because we signed an agreement with the Empire, which so for some reason we're upholding for the first round. Not sure why, guys, but we are. And then her second action is going to be to just... We're going to come around the other side of this ATRT right here. All right, doing a little double move to be in action. And we're going to chill right there. Sounds good. I go to my stack here. It's going to be my last Stormtrooper, so that's my hostage unit here. And they are going to do the old... Double move here, move over as far as we can. It's like we just swapped positions. Weird. Okay. Maybe them. Put on my stack, we've got Special Forces. The last one I have left is Clan Ren. She's just gonna jump right over this little pillar here. Sure. We're in this side of it, like that. That's my first action. She's uh, just gonna line her, her troops up here a little better. And then um, I think we're gonna pop some rockets. I'm just gonna double check if you can see enough people to pop them. I, it's Clan Ren, so it's only three dice versus four on the, on the regular unit, so it's only down to that. But we're going to do He has no armor to worry about, so I'm popping the rocket for that reason. I don't need to hang on to it and risk losing one of the members here and lowering the potential of this. So we're going to shoot the Royal Guards in heavy cover. It has blast. They'll have no cover, but they do have a dodge. Sure. I surge to hit. Here are dice. Ooh, that's unfortunate. So two. Two. I will dodge one. Last in my stack is going to be my royal or imperial officer. She is going to go ahead and use her spotter one to give the fifth brother an aim, which from my awesome permanent card now gives the seventh sister a dodge. So they will each have okay. one of those. And his other action? And then she will just take a dodge for her second action. Okay, dodgy dodge. Put in my stack. We've got a core. Let's go with the Hoth of Veterans here. Mm -hmm. They can't quite get on the stairs, which is unfortunate. So we're going to come up just to the stairs. As close to the stairs. Check a... And I don't know if we have mentioned it yet, but this, the stair thing in the center is just under the height of a silhouette. Kind of so like our Hoth board. It's just heavy cover. It does not block line of sight. The, the big spires around it will block line of sight, but you can shoot over the stairs in open areas without issue. Okay, we're at range four from the Royal Guard, so we're just going to use the heavy just to see if we can put some more. Sounds good. Four white dice, critical two, surging to hit, heavy cover Imperial Guards. We got one crit. One crit for my, for my guards. 
And then that's one dead guard. Again. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the seven sister back here. She is going to go ahead and do her first move is going to be a jump. So we'll just jump over here. You guys can listen to the noise of her lightsaber. Yep. Helicopter spinning over there and then we'll pop right over there with her. Okay. Get her going. My last core is the rebel troopers here who sure. um, just have a, a med droid. So they're not going to do too, too much, but we're still going to pop up here. Can't quite go on the stairs, we're gonna come a little shy of the stairs. Okay. Stairs are good and bad. Yep. We are touching the train though. That is good for you. So we'll shoot her. She still has a dodge of red dice, so yep. I don't know if we'll do anything, but we'll try. We'll see. Four black dice, no surgery, no aiming, no nothing. She's got a dodge. She does have a dodge and she does have a block. Block. Well, oh, that's right, we'll dodge one. And we'll take a block both of them. And last we have the fifth brother here. He is gonna go ahead and Gonna move out here, and then we will have him come up there. Oh boy. Okay, last thing in my stack is the ATRT, and there's a nice little guy who just moved to yeah, front. So we're just gonna Fifth aim. brother had to move up eventually, so. I'm gonna aim and shoot, because I can't take the cover away, so let's just Sounds do it. Good. Okay, we got an aim token, we have two blacks and a red. Impact three will not matter here. We do search the grit natively, so that's, that's nice. True. He's got heavy cover. There's one crit. We're gonna spend the aim on these two because hits are just gonna fall off at this point. That's true. And we're gonna get one more crit. Two crits. Two right. crits is not too bad to ask for. We just enraged him. Okay, perfect. Okay, after a, a, he rolled a good amount of red saves this first round, but we did get two through at the very end there on the, on the fifth brother. Unfortunately, that enrages him. So he's gonna have charge and unlimited courage now. We uh, killed a world guard. He brought him back and then we killed him again. So that was fun. And um, he shot a Pathfinder. That was, I think that was all the offense that you did this it. round because you it. have a lot of melee. But his sister and brother are right there, and then there's lots of rebels for them to have fun with. Yep. Welcome to round two, otherwise known as Mess With Don's Head. He, <laughs> he played Come and Prove It. This is a, let me get a better angle here, fifth brother and seventh sister card. Fifth brother and seventh sister gain Indomitable and roll one extra dice when defending. Well, that's nice. If seventh sister is declared as the target of an attack, she has a something order token. She's face up. Face up it has to be face up. Face up or token. Yeah. She gets a dodge. That makes sense. And then I have no time for sorrow. Leia's card. When Leia issues an order to a friendly unit, a trooper unit, it gains a speed one move. So I did that, which really, really hurt me. So if you remember, we had the Mark II here and the Mandos here. They did a speed one move each there and there. So that way I'm a little farther from all these people with ram and lightsabers and all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His one pivot does go first, so we'll go to him. All right, so well, we're going to start with our uh, friend, the fifth brother here. He is going to start off by doing a speed two move there. He's going to a full movement, so he has ram. It's so yep. funny, he has ram, ram two. two. I love it. Yep. He can and still reach my guy, but he had to go farther. Had to go farther than I wanted to for sure, but we will get base contact right there, and we will go ahead and use our charge and slash into this little guy here. Slash a dash. All right, so the fifth brother's lightsaber is going to be five black dice. He does search to hit, and ram two is active, so I do get to change two results into a crit. Which is super helpful, because this is just going to make all five of these hits go through, and that's going to be pierce two. So Don't five worry. pierce two. Five hot plate defense dice with Sergi coming in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope. All hey, right. He's so dead. That's the mark two. I kind of figured that was going to happen. That's why we had to get him... Back as far as we could. All right, so at the end of my move, I did force push and pull that Rebel Trooper unit in to kind of wear as a blanket for at least one round before they start shooting at me. Off the top. Special Forces. Over here. All righty. I think I'm going to recover and then shoot everything into the sister. Recovering and shooting into the sister? That will give her a dodge once she's declared the target. So after rereading the command card he played, I, I changed my mind. I'm shooting the Stormtrooper unit because I don't want to give him the dodge and give him an extra defense dice in the shot. That doesn't have an aim or anything anyways. So we're shooting the Stormtroopers. It's, once again, it's... Eight whites for the regular, mm -hmm. and it's going to be four whites and a black with Bissing because I recovered from my first action, and we're tapping him to throw his dice too. Sure. See what we can get here. That's much better. That's much better, yeah. That's a lot better. Okay. Holy cow. Yeah, this is That's half of your dice. I mean, yeah, this might be my best one in a long time. Um, so we'll take away two because we surged a hit for this cover that they have. And you're still looking at five pack, which is nice. pretty good. Kind of kind of wish I would have shot it out a little bit, but that's okay. Well, okay, we'll, just we'll take four. one. <laughs> I right, go to my stack here. I only wanted a core. That's not a core. That's the Royal Guard. They have three suppression. Can I bring an extra dice over? Can you throw me one of those I bad boys some, there? I have some, sir. We got three suppression. We're going to roll one of them off. That's still two. 
which unfortunately is still their courage. So they're only going to get one action here. And I think with that action, we're just going to start moving them up into a little bit more of a guardian role. So if she does start get shot at, we can uh, take care of it if we need to. Makes sense. Hoping for that core as well. Nope. Nope. We'll go with this guy because he can do a little bit more work here. We're just going to aim and shoot these stormtroopers. I thought about moving to touch the train to take away cover, but they still would have light. So I'd rather mm -hmm. have the aim yeah. for the shot. Sounds good. I forgot to mention I have an emergency transponder, so we have an aim for the for popping that, an aim for the action. Five black dice, searching to critical, or searching to crits, and he's got heavy cover. I didn't realize there was a rotary blaster here. <laughs> he was like, what's that doing here? I was like, I don't know. Let's spend the know. first aim on these two. Let's spend the second aim on these two. Right, so I end up with three, three crits getting through. That goes away to cover. So we will block one and take two. One of my stacks still fishing for the core, and I got it. We're going to go with our hostage unit. They're going to roll off one of their two suppression. The hostage does increase your courage by one, so I do have a courage of two. So I will get to double move out of here. Go for it. And we will... I totally thought you were just going to move real yeah. hard. I'm like, definitely can't nope. do that. No, nope. we're going to go there. We're going to go there. And that will be them. Okay, makes sense. Core. No, no, it's definitely not what we want. Unfortunately, she's out of a speed three range. She's just here out even with jump. And I don't have charge or anything, so that's 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 very much unfortunate. Mom, mom. Um, so I think we're gonna do something a little different with her. This okay. Time. We're gonna bring her back. She has definitely has the range. We're gonna bring her back to like this spot here to kind of clog up this little area right here. It's like you saw me measuring things earlier. Huh. Yep. Weird. And then we're gonna, I think, I have a dodge on my lovely, uh, Prepared supplies. I think I'll take a standby with her. Okay. And just see what we do. I don't want to. I don't want to. If Vader wasn't there, guys, I would risk it. But Vader's gonna move right in and chop forcing me up. Vader's fine. Don't worry about Vader. I gotta go to my stack here. It's gonna be the commander. We'll go ahead and give Vader an aim with our spotter, and we'll take a dodge for her action. That'll be that. Okay. Go to my stack. We finally got our core, which is good timing, sir. Yeah. Into the fray is gonna kick in for me, though. That's that's fine. You take your token. I'll take my token. We're gonna take him and we're gonna withdraw him just as far back as he can, touching this here uh, token for no apparent reason. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and cohere all these guys back. That's like weird. So. Wonder, what, wonder why he's doing that. No, no reason. No reason. All right. So I'm gonna go with the seven sister. I'm gonna pop her force reflexes to get dodge before we do any shenanigans here. And then the way that standing by needs to have line of sight we're gonna make it so sabine can't see me for my first move here and then we're just gonna jump over here can i jump behind her let's, let's see what this jump looks like well let you guys watch it live here let's just move this for the sake look how nice is this guys it comes That's right so off nice. i don't think you could fit it nope so we're just gonna jump but that's here, right? Yeah, this is so this was on the corner mount yeah. here. There you go. So we will use our jump. I can't I would have really wanted to get into the vets, but I don't think I can get no. there. So we're just gonna jump into Sabine right here. We're each gonna we swing each other. Charge and swing and I'll stand by that too. Yep. Okay, he's running into me. I'm popping my standby after the move right before the charge hits. That's five black dice. Surging to crit. Pierce won't matter because he's immune pierce. We'll get a five back. You're gonna dodge one? I'm gonna dodge one. Make it four. So that does give me block. So I now search the don't block. You know, don't you get to roll an extra one, too, unfortunately? Oh, I do get to roll an extra defense your dice. Card. Yep. I'm not trying to give you help. Didn't help. Oh, that did not help. So you're still help. taking so two. Take, take two? Yep. Yeah. And then I will swing back into your Sabine. I have a dodge on my prepared supply, so we'll get that ready. Uh, so it's just three. So two after you spend your dodge, I would assume. No reason not to spend the dodge. And I searched a block, so I'll take nothing. Do, right. do you want to tell them about yes. that first? So after uh, uh, the Seventh Sister, I did take a dodge on this, the Fifth Brother. I took an immobilized token to take a dodge, which is from the permanent card that I played in round one. When they take a token, they can take a immobilized to get a magic token. He's going to get an ATRT. It's right here. It has him in line. So we'll just take an aim and shoot him and see if we can start wearing him down. Aiming and shooting. Two blacks and a red, surging to crit. Impact won't matter. You have light cover from a crystal. You only have a light cover, but you have a dodge as well, right? I do have a dodge. So I'm going to risk it. I'm going to spend the aim on both because otherwise those two aren't getting through. There we go. All right, so we're that not better. spending a dodge. So we'll take a wound, so he's up to three. All right, we're going to go to the stack. We're going to get a core. We see some stormtroopers. They saw their friendly seventh sister get hurt, so they are going to start coming to the rescue here. You don't bring three med bots for nothing, so we are going to do that. We're going to stretch this cohesion as far forward as we can. 
to get the range one. Just barely. Just just barely. Got it. So we will take a wound off of her and put it on the med bot. I'm that's just it. leaving them next to the med bots just so we remember who. Okay. Who, and that's them. Okay, going to my stack, we've got Leia. We're going to do something very unconventional here. She's going to take an aim and shoot fifth brother because sharpshooter two. Shooting fifth brother, okay. Leia's going offensive mode, which is rare for her besides her, you know, opening card. She's got three black dice. Sharpshooter two takes away any of her cover, or his cover. I uh, searched a crit. Yep. Pierce won't matter because you're immune. There's one crit. We'll spend the aim on these two. Sure. Just, just, just one crit. At least you're... One crit. And one more wound. All right, so we're going to the stack. It's going to be Vader. We will... Let's see here. He's gonna move on up. Here. Move on up here, right next to them, and then how far? So we'll just move right up there. Make sure we stay in range one, so we have our protection. And then with our relentless, let's throw two dice. Um, we'll throw them into the vets, into the veterans. Okay, let's do it. All right, so it's two black dice. It's blast. It's scatter. We have an aim token. It's just two hits. Can't ask for more. I block one of them though. There you go. Stack. We've got the veterans who lost the guy. They have one sure. suppression from that attack. We're gonna get it off. That's super unfortunate that's, for me. That's huge for me because we were thinking about uh, into the fray is gonna kick off on both of the inquisitors. That's not yours. That's yours. See, so, yeah, I think we're just gonna move these guys back. Sure. To line up a nice unobstructed shot onto our guy. He'll have light because of his suppression, but that's all he'll have. Alrighty. And then we'll shoot him. This is three black dice, because there's three left, four white to the heavy, critical two, surging to hit. He says light cover because of his suppression. Yep. It's just going to be one. Uh, so, I, can you dodge it? No, there's a much bigger attack coming that I'm going to save the block for, so we will take a wound. I'm going to go to the stack here. It's going to be this core unit. They're going to hold on to their suppression, so they're just going to take a dodge, and that will be them. Okay, taking a dodge. Last in my stack, at least, is the snipers, who wished they didn't move earlier to take their shot. <laughs> now they're just going to come right back. Actually, we're going to go as far back as we can here. Okay. And we're just going to take a shot on the uh, fifth brother and see if we can get lucky here. Sure. Okay, black and white, he's got heavy on the light because he's got just the tip of that little corner, and that's all it takes with the newer rules. Black and white, can we get a crit? Some question or two hits. We got a crit. Oh, you would get a Pierce crit. Pierce won't time. work here, though. He's immune, though, so he needs the blank. Pierce, so I need a paint here. He got, got it. it. Okay, well, he's still alive. He's suppressed heavily. We have a dodge from Vigilance, and then we have an aim from Retinue. So I think what we're going to do with them is we're just going to move them on in, jumping over here. They have a six black melee. It's not terrible. Surging to hit with an aim seems pretty decent. So you can get lucky and just get one through is all we need, guys. That's all you need. We just discussed that. I totally forgot I should have been rolling an extra dice extra each of these sh attacks. But I reminded okay. him for this one at least. This is the big one. Yep. So this is going to be six black dice surging to hit with an aim on him. Yep. It's a good start. Let's we'll spend the aim on this one. Won't get it, but these will all convert. So I'll dodge one. Dodging one. Looking at four. All right, so I'm going to roll five dice because now I'll remember the card. If he gets five dice, good. You might live this one. You might live this another day, sir. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling strong. You're fine. I'm, I'm feeling strong. You're fine. Yep, so we search the block because we spent our dodge, and then we block all four. Extra dice save. We've got some extra clashes going on between Clan Ren and Fifth Brother, who's only got one health left. We've got the sister who healed one off, so she has one left. I've lost the Mark II and a Vet. He's lost a couple Stormtroopers and a um, World okay. Guard. That's about it. Vader's coming in, though, too, so let's see what happens. Round three, he went with unexpected but not unwelcome. It reads a whole bunch of words here because all the new, all the new cards are like paragraphs. As they have to do it now. <laughs> when a unit is issued an order by this card, it recovers. With seven sisters attacking a commander operative with a face of order token, during the roll attack day, she may gain up to two suppression tokens. She gains one aim token for each suppression token she gained this way. Legacy of Mandalore is Sabine ran two troopers. She gains inspire one. When Sabine issues an order to commander operative or special forces, she gains either an aim or dodge. Let's take a look how this went. Sabine gave her orders to herself, Leia. And Clan Rents, she gained three tokens, two dodges and aim. She had another dodge left over from Vigilance Leia right there. Thank you, Leia. They were at me to dodge for themselves. He went ahead and gave his order tokens to the Sounds Inquisitors sister, themselves. Brother. They yeah. both recovered, so they get their... And I went with the three pip because I knew he had the ability. I've been touching him, so if I played her one pip, it would have only been a two pip, and he could outpip me, so I didn't do that. So he gets to go first. I think we all knew which one was going first. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go with the fifth brother. He Before he tells you his actions, he was contemplating moving and ramming and all that fun stuff with force push, but he realized he could mobilize Hogan, so he cannot yeah. use his full maximum movement, so he can't ram. That is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and take a dodge for my first action. That gives an aim token to our lovely seventh sister. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and just take another immobilized token to get an aim myself. Okay, okay, yeah, why not? And then I will uh, swing into the, that's not a mobile ice, but you get the point. And swing into the lovely Mandalore. All right, so it's gonna be five black dice surging to hit with an aim into the dodgy Mandalorians. I will spend the aim here for all five. I well, assume you're gonna dodge one. Why wouldn't we? We're nimble. Let's right. dodge one's four. I am impervious. You have pierced two. That's correct. I'm gonna roll six red dice, surging the block. We will, um, so I'll pierce two of those. So you'll we'll take two. Take two. Okay, based off of only having four health left and no dodge, so I think this is a good time to do this. We're gonna go Sabine. She already has three dodges from her cards and vigilance. We're gonna take another aim for my first action. Second action, we're just gonna slice the dark saber. All right. Five blacks, searching to crit, two aim tokens here. I do have one. She's a mute pierce, so no piercing. Uh, into the fray. Well, if you had dodges, I would risk it, but you don't have any dodge tokens, so we're gonna keep that hit. Spend the first aim. Oh my goodness, spend the second aim. We got it. So All look right. at that full five pack. Five pack for me. And we will spend that surge and take Nada. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the seven sister. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and take a dodge for our first action, um, which will give an aim to fifth brother. It doesn't matter, but we'll put the token out there for fun. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and swing into Sabine. I'm gonna use the um, command card's actions. I'm gonna take two suppression and give myself two aims. When I get those two aims, I get to give two dodges then to our friend, the fifth brother. So he'll have two more dodges. Okay. I have three dodges, he has two aims. I have three aims actually. Oh, three aims, I'm sorry. Yeah, she got an aim earlier. Well, here you go, there's a yep. third aim right there. All right, so it's just five black dice, pierce two, surge to hit. We'll spend the first aim, we'll spend the second aim. There we go. All five. I'm going to spend all three. So two. Because why wouldn't I? I get one back with my lovely nimble. Yep. Two Search first the two. block. I'm okay. Got the ATRT. It's not what we were hoping for. We'll take an aim and we'll shoot everything in the Vader. All right. Aim and shoot an Vader. Five black dice. Searching the crit. With a lovely aim token. Vader's got heavy cover. And search token. I'll spend the aim of these two. All right. Just one one. Vader. He'll block it. We're gonna go to the stack here. It's gonna be a core. We're gonna go with our hostage unit. We will just move this way. I gotta give myself some cover from the pathfinders behind me. And then not in range three anymore. So that's a plus. So we'll take a dodge for their second action. Okay, dodging it up. Gonna be stacked. We got special forces. We're gonna go up here. Sure. We're gonna cover. We're gonna shoot everything into this stormtrooper unit here. All right. Once again, eight white dice because he's in range three, two for each, and then Biston recovered. Shooting into no cover stormtroopers. Let's see what we can do. Surging to hit. Just three. Just three. Black one blanked again. Uh -uh. We'll just keep rolling those shields. I guess. Go to the stack here. It's another core. We'll go with the unit that just took the shot. They're gonna hold on to their suppression, which means they only get one action. I don't know that we can get far enough over to the fifth brother. I'm gonna do some. If measuring. you had jump, you could. Without jump, I don't think you can magically. You can turn that off if you want for a second. We'll take a look. Right, so I can't make it to the fifth brother with them. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spend their last heal right, right over here to make sure that Seven Sister stays alive, and we'll just take a pot shot into the uh, heavy cover um, pathfinders. Okay, your classic four white search to hit into heavy cover. Just another suppression. Got snipers. Apparently all the cores at the bottom of the stack. We're gonna take an aim and shoot Vader. Aim and shoot Vader. Black and white, searching to hit, sharpshooter one brings his heavy on a light. There's our first hit. We'll spend the aim on this white, hoping for the best. We got one. So one will go to cover. You do have to roll for a whopping one. No pierce because he's immune. And we'll spend his search token. All right, gonna go to the stack here. It's gonna be the commander. We're gonna go ahead and use his inspire. We'll pull one of these off of Vader. And then we're gonna move um, right over here. 
And we'll just move to the other side over here, just in case for some later movement there. Okay, we've got the ATRTs. That's definitely what we're Nice to, to keep say. all your cores on the bottom of your stack. That's, it's always good to keep the them That's the strategy there. in the game, right? You just keep everything down there. So I don't know what to do with him. He's, he's kind of useless when you don't have armor. So he'll move up to here. Sure. And we'll shoot Vader. Moving to shooting Vader. Black, black, red, searching the crit. Heavy cover Vader. Nothing. Just a spread. I can go to the stack here. It's going to be our Royal Guards. They are going to move up here next to their leader, Vader. And we'll take a measure here real quick to see. Yeah, we'll take a shot into the veterans there range too. Let's see what happens. All right, so it's just going to be six black dice into heavy cover veterans. Oh no, six black dice into no cover veterans. We'll have to look at the cover. That's not Man, dice roll better than mine with aims. Depends if we count the spires as separate or not. If so, they have cover. If not, then they have no cover. Uh, let's count them as separate, I guess. We didn't talk that one out. So we're going to agree to count them as cover from here on out. I guess we were earlier. I don't know. Either way, two white dice, surge the block. We got one more save. Look at that. Well, this, they have to be cores at this point. There's one. We're going to go with the Rebel Troopers. They have one suppression on them. We're going to keep it. We're going to go ahead and use a free heal to uh, bring back this guy with the wound. Sure. Because why wouldn't we? Makes sense. Sabine's not wounded yet, so that seems like a good call. And then we're going to um, probably just pick the token up. That makes sense as well. Yeah. All right, I'm going to my stack. I got Vader. I have two suppression. We will hold on to both of them, but he's got Courage 3, so he's totally fine with that. I'm going to go ahead and pop Burst of Speed, because that's what you bring it for. I'm going to break all the terrain here as well. So he is going to Speed 3 here, and then we will pop right into these fellas that just picked up this token. I'm giving the old slicey slicey. Five red pierce, three into our friends here. And that's just going to be three pierce, three, unfortunately. Well, they don't take three. I'm not even going to roll for it. Now that the man is back alive, we go with them. They're going to take an aim, and they're going to try to bash him up a little bit more. Sounds good. Right, Six so black dice. Three dodges. Have an aim. We just need one blank here. That's all you need. That's all you need. On your side. So we've got four so far. So that's more than you have dodges. So that's a good sign to start. That's a good start. Aim. There we go. Convert it all, so we'll spend all three aims. You have to roll three. Can you blank on one? Nope. Please don't. Please, <laughs> please keep going. Oh, yes. There we go. Definitely went. All right, last in my stack is going to be this core unit of uh, Stormtroopers here. They're going to dodge and stand by because I don't really want to run them up to do anything right now. Okay. We have Leia. He's rolling hot, hot fire besides that last roll finally, so I think we have to be a little bit more aggressive this game. Mm hmm Let's be honest, guys. If he wanted to kill Leia, he could force push any of these people off of her and just off of them and get to Leia. So we're going to move her up. She'll take a pot shot those Royal Guards, and she's got Sharpshooter 2. Sounds good. Three black dice, surging the crit, Pierce 1, Sharpshooter 2. Two Pierce 1. Two Pierce 1. So we will get both of those Pierce, so that's another Royal Guard now. These two can't hit each other. They're just clashing sabers a lot. That's about it. She she come healed thanks to this little joint over here, but, you know, Sabine's fine. Clan Ren took a big wallop, but then healed one back. And then finally, after many, many attacks, the fifth brother fell. That token sharing shenanigans between those two is just kind of crazy. It's we'll talk, we'll talk about the end of the game. Luckily, the one thing that would break my way was Vader came up with a very soft slash and gave me a chance to, to breathe a little bit. But it's, it's just not looking great still. I, still. I don't have any damage in either Saber user, but we'll see what happens. Well, hold that thought as I recap. I forgot there's still one more to go. The veterans. Well, you know that. I haven't gone yet this game in this round. So, okay, so they have one suppression. They're going to keep it. We're just going to shoot the World Guards, shoot and the then guards. the recap already happened. All righty. Two black dice, four white dice, with critical two, surging to hit in the heavy cover roll guards. Looking for some critical, really. We got just one natural crit, and then one other crit, and it, surprisingly, yeah, one hit gets through too, so there's three getting through. Take one Go more. black two and take one. We knew the implacable was coming, so we went with the symbol of rebellion. This is the one where she recovers, which she doesn't need to do, but she places that graffiti token, and it's a two-pip. That's the whole reason for it. Maybe make it a little harder for him to shake off suppression. Implacable is the card that was updated, remember? Vader gains um, a, a dodge every dodge time he activates. Yep. So when he activates him that second time, if he takes the wound to put his order token back, he gets another dodge, which is probably not great for the rebel troopers around him, but that's okay. Her, him, he goes, I'm assuming him first. Yeah, that's okay. pretty reasonable. What's, what's he doing? We'll just go right into it. Well, let me take a second to think about it. Oh, second, think about Sorry. it. All right, so we'll go with Vader here. He does have one suppression. He's going to hold on to it, but he's got courage three. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to swing into the Rebel Troopers first. Um, 
I really hope I kill him. If I do kill him, I'm gonna move into token and base contact here, pull them into melee with me, and we'll look and see what happens after that. Okay. Well, you can't attack again this round with charge. He has to wait till his neck activation if he wants. Come on, Blanks, earn that name. Five reds into these rebel troopers. Three pierce three, that's you just, got just, just what, you what I needed. Unfortunate, okay. Through with her, she recovers, doesn't do anything, but we get to put the token, we're gonna clean this thing. Sure. So all my people get extra dice, all his people lose a dice in their rallies, is pretty much what the key token does. Yep. We're gonna take an aim, and we're gonna swing and see if we can hurt her at all. Aim and swing, all right. Five black dice, pierce don't matter. I have an aim token, search to crit. It's not a great start. It is not the best. It's a good, it's a good recovery. Good recovery, though. I uh, do get a search token from Into the Fray. I will spend that. So we get to take one. We'll on my sack. It's a core. We'll go with our hostage unit. We're just going to kind of transpose positions, make sure we're still out of range three of those guys, and take a dodge for their second action. Special Forces gives us Clan Ran over here. Sure. Um, They have one dodge, but you know what's better than one dodge, guys? Four dodges. Two dodges. We're playing the survival game over here, not the uh, try to kill Vader game. So we're gonna we're gonna swing still, don't you worry. But we're gonna take another dodge to help that. Okay. Two, four, six. Black dice surging to hit an evader. He does have a dodge and a surge. Thank God I surge. That brings us to four at least. All right. So we'll spend the dodge for three. We will. Three. No surge in the block here. Oh, well, you got you one. You have surge one surge. Token, That's all you need. And we'll spend it. These dice, man. All right, we're going to go over here to the stack. It's going to be the Red Stormtroopers. We're going to take an aim, and we're going to shoot in these Pathfinders. We're going to see if we can't do something now. Just four white dice with an aim. Search to hit into heavy cover. There's some crits. We'll spend the aim on these two. Just two crits. Yeah, we're going to take a suppression duck and cover to add that danger sense to that third dice in here. Sure. That's two. Stick two. We're going to go my stack here. These guys are dead. Yep. Why they're still standing there. They just, they just look really good. They're going to aim and shoot those royal guards. Aim and shoot my guards. Two black dice, four white dice, critical two, surging to hit, heavy cover. What's the name? Well, there's too much, too much surges. All the, all the surges. Luckily, we still surged to hit, but we were kind of hoping we'll spend the aim on these two. Mm -hmm. oh. All out of critical, but you got a nat another natural These crit. two fall to cover, so it's three. All right. My stack here, it's my special forces unit with graffiti her silly token. graffiti token. I only get to roll two of these. We will take off one, so that puts them at two, which gives them one whole whopping action. It worked! And, it's only thing uh, on my way. I think with that action, we'll just take a pot shot back into the uh the vets and keep uh keep okay. on keeping on it. All right, heavy cover shot back at the rebel veterans. Just just suppression. And my stack, we've got so let's put the pathfinders, so they're a little sure. hurt now that they uh can't roll anything. Here's your other. We need two white dice. Have we need any off? We get one off, which is big. Right. That gives us two actions now. Sure. So we're going to recover and we're going to shoot something. Um, question is, are we shooting Royal Guards or are we shooting the um, lovely token carrier? I think we kind of have to shoot these guys over here. Yeah, that seems like the logical choice. So that's what we're doing. All right. Range of Orcon Fig is only one white each and I only have two left, so that's two white dice. This is the only other hand. still four white and a black. Surging to hit into light cover. With a dodge. Just, just a crit. That'll turn to a hit, but it'll go into crit. crit. Dice pools have been great, guys. We'll oh, take we another one. Blank. We're going to go to the stack here. It's going to be our commander. She'll just inspire the suppression that they just took off. She'll take a dodge for herself and a standby for fun. Okay. Come my stack. we got the snipers. Let's just aim and shoot the royal guards. Aim and shooting the guards. Sharpshooter, heavy on the light. Black and white. Surging to hit. Pierce one. That's a good got start. Crit. Aim. Can we get another? No, but we'll take the crit pierce one, which that's means that's a dead, dead guard. guard. We're going to stack here. It's a core. We're going to go with these guys still. So they're going to... Actually, we're going to do a slight move, I think. Yeah, we're just going to move a little bit here. Recohere ourselves so that our med droid can bring back the stormtrooper we just lost there. So that'll be the last heal on that one, and then dodge for their second action. Okay, we've got... It was a dead core, but it now it's core. Leia. It's Leia, um... We're gonna do it first, actually. So we're gonna need to take cover. We're gonna give it to. Oh man, oh man, you got force push on both these guys. Uh, no, Vader has force push. Um, Seven Sister has force reflexes. Force reflexes. Okay, so we'll also give it to the important units. So I'm gonna give it to um, Sabine, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it to myself. Just in case Vader gets frosty, and then I'm gonna shoot the lovely Royal Guard. Sounds good. Three black dice, surging to crit, sharpshooter two. 
What, one Pierce one. One Pierce one. Yeah, he pulled a he pulled an operative. He's going with go Vader. With, go with Vader, I guess. We will. Uh, we only get one action this time because of the card. We get the dodge for activating, and then we will. Uh, we'll just uh, swing into the uh, resistance. I right, have two dodges. He's got six dice. It's nasty. He's got no surging. No surging. That's okay. But all six Pierce three. We'll take two away from there. So four Pierce three. So I'm gonna have to roll like seven, seven. dice here with my impervious, which is a bucket of dice. You guys have seen this. Let's see, let's see my dice turn on this side. No, Ooh. no. So that's one. So that's, you save that's one. You take three. Yep. We got an ATRT. So we got two ATRTs on the bottom of this pile. So we're gonna do a lot of fun here. Um, I guess we should probably move up to start trying to catch him. We're just going to displace these lovely guys into our ground vehicle. I'm going to go there. Okay. I have to move a speed one away from that spot. Okay. And then I'm going to um, open fire into the the uh, token carrier. All righty. Five black dice, surge to crit, into light cover, I think. Yeah, yep. you inspired them, so light cover. Yep. For just two. Spinning his dodge Spending down to the one. dodge, down to one. And a block. Oh my god, a block. Oh, that's a dead guy. But it's the guy you brought back, so... And then, just for the fun of it, I'm going to proc my standby, I think, and shoot you if I have reach. Because why not? i am proc the standby. It's just a black and a white. It's going to be into armor. No aim, no nothing. Just nothing. I got the sister. All right, last thing I got is the sister. We'll take an aim, and we will swing into Sabine. All right, so five black dice. Search to hit. With an aim into double dodge Sabine. I'll spend the aim. Or two after your dodges. Me and Pierce, we're okay. Alright. ETRT, aim, shoot. My poor, poor little Imperial Royal Guard. Black's red, critical, surging crits, heavy cover with name. Yeah, my black dice. Come on, show me something good. You got so the one. Just one crit getting through. Alrighty, come on, buddy. You can keep kicking. He keeps kicking. It's gonna sound funny, guys, and I'll explain why. I think I'm gonna call it because. I got just just Ursula left against Vader. That's gonna die in two seconds because I've not been rolling anything. And then he's gonna have his just 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 fun down here. That'll be round five. Then round six, he can kill either one of these. He'll have the token in his hand. I'm not killing him. I have nothing left to shoot him or kill him with the tokens. Sabine and this girl, I don't think either will kill each other. It's one no. wound against no wounds. She technically should have three, which still wouldn't be dead at this point. Yep. This ATRT throwing three dice is not meant to be in this kind of setup. So I mean, not gonna can't even kill him. Pathfinders have been slightly neutered. Though he's rolled off almost every attack they've thrown at those stormtroopers. Yep. And the Atari's moved up and shot many times at both the stormtroopers and have done nothing. Yeah, it's been a tale of my dice have been stupid good for some reason. Your red dice have been just just on fire. Yeah, yeah, it was it was nice for me. And my offensive dice for the most that. part have been very cold. I had a couple decent rolls, but I think you shook off almost all my decent rolls. I like did. it was nothing. Yeah. The fifth brother took pretty much a whole army. Then yeah, another the round fifth, of shoot. Fifth brother was a monster. Same this guy. This guy here has just been shaking off everything somehow. Sure. Only oh, I've been getting like a wound with a pierce, a wound with a pierce. Yep, that's, that's how you gotta get them sometimes. But yeah. Um, so the Inquisitors, uh, they're under costed. They seem like they're too cheap. I mean, this they, is one game, so I'll, I'll wait to give my full analysis. Yeah. But first game, like the, the two token, cards the with token the token sharing, sharing is a lot. And I think they're gonna have to FAQ it, right, guys? I mean, it's, it's gotta it just, be. maybe like maybe change it to an action if you take an aim action because it just says free. yeah, just the way it's it just reads. Whenever you get a token. So technically, like we were talking about it, there's no way they mean to do this. But if if I get an aim and you get a dodge, oh now you get a dodge, I can take a um, a mobilize token to get a dodge. Oh now I got a dodge. So can he take a mobilize to get a dodge? It seems like you can only do it once per interaction, but I don't. That's know. what I'm saying. It doesn't it's say it. Weird. Yeah. I think that's what they mean. It's weird. It's, I think that's what they meant. Yeah. But it doesn't call it out there with all that text. Yeah. Because then you get into this endless cycle of, I'm going to take 50 immobilized tokens, take 50 dodge tokens. So, yeah. So let's just say that's not what they mean. They mean you can do it once. It's still ultimate teamwork with another freebie. And then they play it with the card like you did where you get the two surges yeah. for two aims, which gets your buddy two dodges. Well, then when you attack, you can get two aims to give your buddy two dodges. It just seems. It's very strong. They work super well together. And then the ram on him very, is very strong. The ram is awesome. The, her ability to Both interrogate. Both of them having block is, is so much better than deflect. I'll give up deflect any day for block. Yeah, they, they're, they're more defensive than Luke and Vader, which is interesting. And They both search to hit, which is very odd. They're, they only roll five black dice, but surging to hit, super nice. They both have the built-in saber throw, super nice. Dauntless on the fifth brother with enrage two means he's going to be doing some work. And then jump. The only thing the fifth brother miss, it misses is jump. 
but that makes sense. Yeah. I am not a big fan of uh, Rebel ATRTs at all. No. I just think they're just meh. I get I get having an ATRT laser in case you have a, a armor list. Yeah. This, this list doesn't have a lot of anti-armor. You've got critical there, and you got some critical if you melee and you have rockets, but that's it. So, I mean... Impact one is not going to do much there, so I get I mean, why you, you have. Ion. I get why you have that, but I I, I think the second one should be, get, get rid much. of the more expensive yeah. rotary blaster. It just it just can't be. It's not effective enough. There's better things in the rebel core you can use. Um, rest of the list is fine. I mean, I don't, yeah, yeah. Other yeah. thoughts on the list? I I played armies like this very many, many of a time. You got my veterans. You got Sabine with the right build. I like the Sabine build a lot. Clan Rain build's completely fine. I don't personally think the rockets are worth them because you're only getting three dice out of them, and it just seems a little yeah. over cost for three dice. Seven Sisters and Terra Great actually is very good. Yeah, once you get Especially in the once she's... Like, right now, she's making every card you play higher. Yeah. By one pip. Yep. So that's super strong, especially when you want to go first. And it's also their one pip still goes Seven Sister and Fifth Brother both get in order. That's good. So yeah. that's super good. I think they're very strong together. And what are they, 110? Like 110 a piece. 105. 105 for the fifth brother, 110 for seven sister. So both together, you're Yoda with force push pretty much. Yep. And for then, both of them, though. So you're looking yeah. at 11 health. Yeah, yeah the, that's that's the, a little under cost. The Inquisitor's training is, is a lot of people are saying, going to be broken with, with the force push ability to stop people from So force you're telling pushing. me that Lando Calrissian is only like 5, 10 points less than these guys. Well, Lando is pretty much the best character in the game. Yeah. <laughs> So when you look at it that way, it's kind of funny. So yeah. same with Captain Rex is equivalent. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I know they fit different I mean, needs. But it's, it's an imperial unit, so of course it's going to be undercosted because that's you know the empire in this game is just the best. They are right now. They're, but, they're uh, still the best. I, I think this is just going to make them even more versatile. You have a, yeah. Here's a, here's I, my fourth archetype of list I can run I really against like, you. I, I mean, especially like I think I could just drop Vader and you just run fifth brother and seven sister. You don't run Vader. You run you run a gun line with them. Yeah, and you can just tear stuff up with the rest. Yeah, I think I think you don't run. You could run a name commander if you want, but I think you run, you drop a couple of heal bots, maybe mm -hmm. keep one in there, maybe you run a run a maybe two if you really want to, but you run a gun line instead of Vader, so that way you have the range because you have no range answer. I have no range. Yeah. If my dice would have ran average and your dice would have just cooled down at any point, I think I think you lose the game. Yeah, you're right. Because if he would have died, fifth brother around earlier, I could have engaged. I could have double teamed her. I could have stopped the heal. I mean, I shot those guys before they came twice to try to stop them, and then you shook off the suppression and still got to move and heal. Yeah. There's just a lot of weird dice yeah, swings I, there. I did I did every heal but one. I know. I, I still have one heal left, which I, is, I, I've never done when, when I brought heals off in I, mass. I tried to stop it. I, I Maybe, looking back, maybe I should have shot, should have shot the other ones, but usually you can kill stormtroopers. Usually they die. I mean, I, I think I threw five with these guys at one point, and you mm -hmm. blocked them all. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways. Um, yeah. My infiltrator, I thought, was a good spot, though. I, that I like that. was a great that. spot. I it's probably just... should have put a stormtrooper over there to stop you from being one. Yeah, when you put everything there, I was like, I yeah. had this whole side to play with. Yeah, I, I should have thought about that, but I didn't. But when you get new toys, you get all excited about them. You forget to play the rest of the game. So. They worked. I really thought you made a mistake coming in so quickly. I thought you were going to die around early there. And I thought if I could have just got one more good swing on her before the heal, yeah. I thought she would, but then it just, you yeah. just didn't. And I mean, with my dice luck, had I remembered to roll those, no, I, I didn't roll three extra defense dice. Yeah, so you did. I could have. Fifth brother could have been there for another round, even. So, yeah, that, that card is so good. It's, it's very it's good. Kind of, kind of very absurd. strong. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this peek at the, the Inquisitors. Obviously, we're a ways out for the Inquisitors and for the Genosans, so it is probably good logic to think you'll see these guys on the channel multiple times before they come out because he painted them up and printed them, and I have zombie Genosans, which look about the same. I mean, close yeah, enough. They're about the same. So you'll probably see them again. We're definitely going to show you more battle forces. I've got um, two more batches of Ewoks fully painted up. That brings it to four. I have three more to paint, but I'm going to be moving much faster this week, so hopefully I'll get more done. We'll see the Wookiees again. You're definitely done wants to run the droids. I almost um, ran the droids tonight just for fun. Yeah, I really want to run the experimental force again, except for not with the terrible snail tank. I know we begin the request to play the uh, the asset. Well, we will eventually, I promise. We're just trying to get the new units out and some Patreon list, and we're waiting for the store to run it, which they're running it here in a couple weeks, I think. I think so. Something like that. We'll Something try like to get that. to you. But for that, you guys have a good night. Don't forget to comment below to get your in. Oh, word of the day is um, Don's Dice. Don's Dice. Don's Dice. Something about Don's Dice. Never usually the word of the day. No, it's not. Let's make it the word of the day. day. So you know, even, even the last couple of losses, your dice have been pretty good. They have been. Like, pretty good. Even yeah. the, the, what, two weeks ago now, the Wookiee one, your dice were fire. My dice were fire. You just fire. had... Fire. I just had the health unlimited to Unlimited health to live through it. I just had the health to, like, just absorb that barrage of craziness. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Um... But then you cheated, so we all know that now in the comments. Sounds like you cheated too <laughs> with a couple rolls too there. It was just one. 
Just one. That's okay. You you neutered the assassins before they actually did anything the whole game, so. That's good. I think I killed all your assassins before they did you anything. Did, yep. I was like, no, not today, sir. No, no assassins for me. Yep. Don's dice down below. Thank you, Gray Matter Gaming. Thank you, Legion Terrain. Thank you, J Squared. Thank you, Curl Pod. Thank you, Crypto Games. Enter in. Um, this is the last episode because the 15th is said, so we'll let this go one week. Just a week, because we said we're going to pull it. And then after the week's up, we'll pull the winner for the uh, Strike Me Down. And then if adventure. you do like the Black, uh, Seventh Sister and uh, Fifth Brother, um, Black Remnant is who sent me the files. Josh printed them. I painted them in like an hour and a half. So if you enjoy those files, go ahead and take a look at them. We'll put a link in the video description so you can check out their yeah. STL stores. Print the cards out and kind of try them out before the official model comes out and you buy those up, right? Yep. Have a good night, guys. Bye.